For the first time in human history, the number of forcibly displaced people in the world has crossed 100 million. Endemic violence by state or non-state actors, wars, conflicts and persecution are the main factors driving this displacement. These are the findings of the UN High Commissioner for Refugees or UNHCR. The number of forcibly displaced people was already historically high before the war in Ukraine began in February this year. That war, however, has pushed the number to above 100 million for the first time. Number of displaced double in a decade. More than half of the 100 million, that is close to 53%, are internally displaced. According to the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center, the total number of internally displaced people has more than doubled between 2012 and 2021 from 26.4 million to 59 million. Of this, the number of forcibly displaced is more than 90%. This number also includes those displaced due to causes other than conflict, such as natural disasters. The total number of displaced people had increased from 41 million in 2012 to 82 million in 2020. In the last one year, it reached above 19 million. The rise in the number of displaced in 2021 was attributed to fresh conflicts like in Ethiopia and existing conflicts like in Congo, Afghanistan and other countries. The big jump in 2022 has been recorded due to millions fleeing the war in Ukraine. The Ukraine war has created around 8 million internally displaced people and close to 6 million refugees across Europe. Majority of the forcibly displaced come from Global South. The total number of displaced people is now 1% of the global population and despite the war in Ukraine, the majority of the displaced population comes from West Asia and Africa where most of the wars and conflicts are caused by imperialist aggression or external interference. Countries such as Afghanistan, Syria, Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Burkina Faso, Sudan, Somalia and Yemen are the major sources of forcibly displaced people. Peace and stability is the solution. Much of this displacement is caused by the world's failure to address some of the long-existing conflicts like the Israeli occupation of Palestine which has created and continues to create an endemic problem of refugees for several decades now. In some cases, rise in state persecution of minorities such as the Rohingyas in Myanmar and minorities in Afghanistan have created millions of refugees. Despite the presence of a large number of groups and international agencies like the UNHRC, internally displaced people and refugees are forced to live inhumane and undignified lives due to lack of economic resources and political will in rich countries to support them. Unlike Ukrainian refugees, most of the refugees from third world countries have faced discrimination and in some cases violence from the rich countries in Europe and the US while seeking shelter. Europe's double standards on refugee issues have been noted and highlighted by several commentators and UN agencies since the beginning of the Ukrainian crisis. Commenting on the fact that the number of displaced has crossed 100 million, UNHRC head Filippo Grandi acknowledged that increased humanitarian aid to people fleeing their countries and homes will provide relief. However, he emphasized that if one is thinking about reducing the number significantly, the only answer is peace and stability.